Hey, welcome back to another episode of John's Crypto Therapy. Today, we are going to look at the latest drop, the Spider-Man drop. I think this is what everybody's been waiting for. I think this is a great, great drop, and I can't wait to see if we're just gonna have one, or if it's going to be rare, common, uncommon, and also secret rare, or something of that nature. If this is the case to all my Marvel fans, and more or less everyone that does collect NFTs, I do recommend you to do one special thing please do yourself a favor this is an investment for yourself for long term like I said it's not financial advice this is what I'm doing to make easy money this is easy money if you guys do believe in the NFT field I'm telling you right now this spider-man is going to be worth a ton I'm going to try my best to grab one at least and see where it goes from there because I do need this in my collectible this is such a crazy crazy drop I can't wait to see how it's going to be I know on YouTube there was a there was a spider-man that actually came from the ceiling down I don't know if they have that animation yet but if they do have something like that nature or it could be promoted back to this NFT or upgrade for this NFT that would be pretty cool so like I said this is a must in my collectibles and you know Dave was putting a lot of hints and it's pretty cool to some that did get that it was spider-man good for you guys and this is going to be a big drop I'm super excited and I can't wait to see how it's going to go so if you guys are in for for this drop please make sure to like share and subscribe and if you guys are a big spider-man fan welcome to the party because i am as well so this is going to be really really special so let's move into the charts and before actually before we move into the charts a lot of people have actually been talking to me about this as well is vv consistent this is the question i'm trying to make but also elaborate on to a lot of people that are asking me these type of questions see when you look at comic-con the week before comic-con they actually did not drop anything and the the week of comic-con they dropped three things and the week after comic-con they did not drop anything so consistency you could say it is consistent if you look at it and you put one on each week that will be consistent but it wasn't in a sense to a lot of people because they'll say you know what i was looking for it that week it wasn't there i was looking for that week it wasn't there so there's a way of looking at it for consistency if you look at consistency for the fact that they are dropping if you divide it one per week then they are doing that but if you are looking for every single week and you're coming onto the app and you're finding out there's nothing to be dropped, then of course they're not consistent in that base. And that's something they could work on, but guys, you gotta give them the benefit of the doubt. All of these stuff they're putting out is fantastic. I do believe in Akomi. I know you guys are looking for my video on my top reasons why Akomi could reach a dollar. I did wanna put this analysis beforehand just to show people where the market's going. I'm gonna give you a long-term projection. So, you know, you get a gist of where the market is trying to go so you don't lose no money and you understand where to buy and how we could trade these markets so my next video will be about a Komi and my top reasons why it will reach a dollar if you guys do believe in a Komi, you should watch that video because I promise you I'm gonna be talking about certain things that a lot of people are not talking about and this is big alone so that's going to be juicy so let's get into the charts First, we are going to look at BTC Bitcoin. So guys, I am going to jump into my BTC chart. And if you guys do want to see BTC analysis, that could help you trade OMI. You should stick around. But if you do not want to see me play with the BTC chart, go on to the OMI chart. Just skip a few little seconds forward and you will see the OMI chart. So let's get started. I'm going to the BTC chart right now. Let's go. When we look at BTC chart, like I told you guys, this was a given. So we had price find support and resistance so basically right here this is resistance support will be on top resistance was found and the price did go down see i had a comment this was really really funny someone actually commented on my channel saying you know what i told a lot of people this is my perception of where the market's going to go around this level 41,700. i i did look for a short you know and he's like you know what i don't believe it i think the price is going to still go up and look at the end of the day that's your technical analysis and i appreciate your work but if you're just guessing off of numbers because a lot of people are saying that then that's a different story i like to work off of levels i'm really a fundamental trader see i work off of these levels because it makes sense to me and this is how i make a lot of profits if i did take this short and i did lose a position that's totally fine because guess what at the end of the day i was head hunting for shorts so exactly at this point around 42,000 
I'm still looking to sell. Because of that, I still made 11% profit and that is ridiculous amount. See, a lot of people, if you look at a real top hedge firm, right? A firm that's really making a lot of money and really changing a lot of people's lives. They only guarantee, if anything, five to 10% a month of return. And if you look at that, if you do have a lot of capitals, that is amazing and 10% is huge. So making 11% just off of a BTC move is phenomenal so to those that did understand why i'm trying to sell is because i do believe in the fact that this is still bullish i am still looking for a hundred thousand dollar btc coin and look it is going to happen eventually i do believe that so because of that we did have a beautiful rally a lot of green bullish candles because of this and i wanted to see a healthy trend guys in order to run as fast as you can you need to take breaths you need to breathe you need to understand the market is still going to go that way short-term profits there's nothing wrong with that all you're doing is you're bagging up putting it on the bottom and then buying from the dip and this is how you can make money in btc and this is what i'm trying to teach a lot of omi token holders invest your money but understand if there's levels to sell sell the market come back in and buy the dip it's it's very simple i'm trying to show you as much as I can every single day I know that I can't update you and say you know what get out of a trade get out of this that's more for my students and of that nature but I am going to soon make a telegram group if this does pop off and I do have a lot of traders if there is a lot of traders and they want to see that please make sure to like share and subscribe I do want to make sure this video gets more to everyone so it's more usable for a lot of people to understand what levels we could buy what levels we could sell and what levels you should stay out of the market and if that made sense to you and you are a trader good for you because i promise you your life and your future is only going to get better so to all my traders great job to all those investors great job if you are watching my video and you're understanding what to do next so once again i'm going to break this down for a lot of people that did not understand we did see the Ichimoku and we wanted to see the break of the Ichimoku and we understand this line right here. If you guys look at this green lagging indicator, as you guys can see, it's in the cloud showing us the sentiment is consolidation. We did not want to do anything. We did not want to buy until this line itself was broken out of this beautiful red cloud. Because this line was not broken out of this cloud, we still had a continuation and we could look for a reversal trade and which we did. And we understood that this level was really important important yes it broke off to the top it showed us that the continuation the strength of the trade was really strong because it was a body of the candle broken to the upside and held that zone a lot of people would have looked to buy and that's totally fine that's the way you guys trade there's nothing wrong with a lot of people's trading methods but the problem is consistency please do not give up on your strategy because other people do not believe in it I promise you, I've taught so much students, a lot of strategies, and I'm happy because those strategies work for you, then it works. You know, at the end of the day, profit is profit. If you're making 10%, if you're making 5%, even if you lose 3% in a day, that's totally fine. If you're making profit and you're consistent, don't listen to no one else that bashes you. Understand your technique works for you and continue with that strategy. We are looking for a pullback. We talked about this. Go to my previous video. The reasons why I don't make videos often or every single day is because I need to let the market move and, and show me where the market's going. I am looking on a daily chart to four hour charts and it takes time for the market sentiment to move and to find the real corrective station where it's going to play a buy or a sell. So we are looking for a short and we already executed it. A lot of my students did put a trailing stop so they are going to play with this market Let the market go as much as they can and they are looking to buy the dip to all those that do find trading fun You guys are in the right video because I'm gonna make sure we have fun with this and that's the key All right, so once again, I'm gonna take the Ichimoku out So the Ichimoku is showing us that there was no sentiment to buy right now So let's just see where we're gonna go. We had this beautiful hidden divergence and it, it was beautiful A lot of people do not know about divergence. It's basically the market is doing something else than the RSI the markets going down while the RSI is going up because of that we knew even break of structure we are going to have an impulse to downside so a lot of people would say you know where to take profits to those that are selling and are in a selling position we put the pivot points in and I'm gonna show you exactly where the daily pivot point is and how we're gonna trade off of these zones so let me zoom in for everyone so you guys can see 
These are the new daily pivot points that are being made right now. So you can clearly see that the pivot is right here and it broke to the bottom side of that pivot. So showing us that the fundamental aspect of this is to go down. So guys, if you know what I'm trying to say, whenever the pivot point is here, anything above we're looking to buy, anything below we're looking to sell. That's the way you normally trade a pivot point. And normally the way I like to trade Forex and stuff like that, it does normally go to R2 or S2. That's the way I've always nurtured my trade and it's always possible for those numbers to hit so if it is going lower to s2 we could say roughly around thirty four thousand seven hundred dollars we could see a rebound of structure before the price actually goes up we have a long way down so this price could go a little bit lower but if it does find structure on s1 and it does break this beautiful forty one thousand eight hundred and thirty four zone we will see a beautiful move to the upside does not mean we are in trouble or we are losing a lot of altcoin positions because the market goes down. No. If you guys remember what I said, if Bitcoin is stable, we'll still get a pump for the altcoins. Remember that. This is still considered stability. The reasons why, look, if you look to your left, this is the zone Bitcoin has been for a little while. If it broke the bottom level of 29,417, then we're in trouble. Then we'll see a huge correction for a lot of coins and the market sentiment for a lot of coins will go down for those that are invested in all coins and especially today we're talking about omi if you are invested in omi this is still good if btc still goes down as long as it's in this stabilization range we're good to still buy omi tokens we're still to see a beautiful pump for omi but in order for us to see a super cycle we need to see a break of this structure and then continue to the upside and then near the end like september and october we are going to see a huge rally and hopefully we see it and we shall see it and it's about if you guys are ready to make some profit so if you guys are please make sure to like subscribe and share we are going to go into our omi chart right after this we need to see a move to the downside then we'll have an impulse move to the upside and we shall see how the market is going to dictate from there if it does go up and it finds another resistance at this level then clearly we are going to see a beautiful downtrend we can see the back of this trend line being hit or we can see the bottom support of 29,837 zone being another support for us to go up so we need to just understand how to trade this market very simple and let's go into the omi charts okay a lot of my students are wondering what's going on with omi it's simple let's get into it so this is our omi chart so we had our move and we basically talked about this impulsive move and where the market could go we had two identification of how the market behavior sentiment was going to behave so we had to push the upside retest of structure this is resistance pulling back down retest of structure then up this is how we like to trade it see how the market's going the other one was the market was going up for resistance then pushing all the way back down we were looking for 0 0.0020 number and is it out of the behavior is it out of the norm absolutely not we could truly see that if anything does happen with this drop or if they cannot keep consistent with this marvel drop or any kind of drop every single week we shall see price give it a push up because of the spider-man but we will see a rally back down and going back to our zone so patience is the key so to all those that do understand these levels are key please put your levels put your buy levels buy limits buy orders around these levels because if it does come crashing down you are going to get it for dirt cheap i do believe these levels could be hit so please do not take it out of the picture the market could do anything it wants so the other thing i want to talk about is it's going to be really juicy so i want to get you guys in the behavior of market so when we look at this push the upside right here, exactly at this zone, we were looking for a sell. If you guys remember, this was a sell opportunity because we had the pivot lines matching up, the Bollinger Bands matching up. We also have a lot of indicators showing us that, you know what, this was truly a sell and absolutely it could have happened. But right after I dropped my video, one hour after, the market sentiment pushed the upside and this is beautiful to see. So I wanted to show you guys something. If this was on Binance, we would have had a huge move, even bigger than this. But the problem is this move right here can be investors, but more or less it is the brokers. The move to the upside was the call of the brokers and the brokers most likely bought a share or bought a lot of OMI tokens just to dump it right after. And this is what a lot of brokers do. So just so you guys know, be keen to this. 
Be understanding to the fact that if you are getting into a trade like this, or you're just buying because you believe that this broker is going to be good, a lot of people don't understand you will sell at the top. And as you guys can see, this zone that we identified was such a great zone, 0.0034 gave us such a perspective to sell. And if you guys did not notice, we had two times, two times this tried to hit our zone and it failed. This is what I'm trying to show you. It failed, thus showing you that this sentiment is beautiful. It's so beautiful to see how you could trade this type of market. If you guys miss the sell position once, you would have had it twice. And this is what I'm trying to teach a lot of my students. Please understand your levels, understand how to trade, and it's going to make sense. A lot of YouTubers would tell you this personally. Look, we have Marvel, we should see the price going up. We'll see how it goes, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm not going to ever let you guys ever feel like that. I want to give you guys the best information I can to understand where this market is trying to go. So before anything, we are going to see that this is respecting this price we will see a push to the upside. So this is my perception. We have until Thursday or normally around that time before we have Marvel's release, Spider-Man. So for that meanwhile, can we see price absolutely going down? Yes, yes. To all those that do wanna know the answer, yes, we can see price actually trickling down. And then if Marvel does release Spider-Man, which it is for Vivi, and we see that it is a huge news, we will see a spike in price. If it does not beat 0 0.0034, I could truly tell you that the price is going to go down and we shall see 0 0.0020, another buy opportunity for a lot of people that did miss it. So like I said, we need to understand what Spider-Man news can do, how it's going to do against the behavior of the market. So we will see if it does break that zone, if the price is going to go up. Also, we need to understand something very, very special. I'm going to take my horizontal line. If you look at the body of this candle right there, let me put this in black so you guys see it. The body of that candle was never broken. So you could clearly see the body of this candle was never broken. So it did not break this high. So we are still continuing to the downside. This is why this trade was very, very easy to get into. Take profit, of course at your immediate support and resistance zone. This is take profit one. If you are continuing with this trade, take profit two will be a roughly around here, 0 0.0026, and take profit three will be on the bottom. Of course, don't do it to the tip. Make sure it's some inches above so you make sure you can hit those take profits. Like I said, the market could switch on you last minute and you could just be inches off. So that's the best advice I could give you. So we are going to see what the market is going to do from here and we'll see what prices can happen, all right? If this section does hold, we are good to say that we can see the price reaching to 0 0.0034. If it does not hold and it goes lower and the behavior shows us that it is going to go down until maybe the Thursday drop, then we can see the price going back up. I am going to buy near the Thursday drop just to see if hype is going to dictate where the price is going to go or if this is just going to be off of fundamentals. Like I was showing you, be aware, this move to upside brokers, brokers dumped it right after. They made a quick buck off of a lot of people not being educated on the fact that it will always dump right after. I already got into a short, I made some quick profit and we're gonna continue with that trade, okay? So let's, let's look at this market right here and see where it's trying to go. So when we look at the RSI, the sentiment is going up while the market sentiment is going down. So we have a behavior move to the downside so a lot of students would say where is the market going so what I would like to see personally I would like to see it going down just a little but I personally think because of Marvel because of spider-man because Vivi is releasing that this is going to be a stronghold I think personally this is what's going to happen let's see how it plays off so we can see that the price is going to reflect this we can see the price doing two things of course it could go down. Do not get the misunderstanding that the price cannot go down. If it does go down, we can see exactly 0 0.0023 before Spider-Man news and then we can see the price going up. But because I see a lot of faith, I see, you know, the community is building. I'm working off with the community as well, seeing how they interact with this type of project. And it is super bullish. Because of that reason, I'm going to give you guys two scenarios and I'm going to let you guys decide where the market's going to go and two scenarios on how the market could play out. We could clearly see that the market could go up, rebound, find more structure, or it could break out of this beautiful zone. Then guess what? We will see a retest. 
we will absolutely see a retest of structure. So this is exactly where you would buy, exactly where the key retest of structure is zoned out. So if this is the place where we have a beautiful retest of structure, right on top of this resistance, we'll find support. And guess what? Because of the Marvel news, I could see the top off exactly go all the way to 0.0047 before I try to sell. There's three places I could sell, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly where. This could be one place that I could sell, this will for sure be one place that I could sell. And if we really have to be careful, these are my three key states where I'm going to sell because the market is going to show me where the reversal is going to happen. Can Spider-Man make us reach that? Absolutely it can, but we need to understand every single day the market will change. We just have to see how the market is going to do throughout that time. So we are going to look at the bias to sell. Throughout this night, if this zone does get broken to the downside, I will want to see a retest of structure from the back end. If we do have that at 0 0.0028, then I am going to look for impulsive moves to the downside. We are going to see 0 0.0020 absolutely being hit. I think if this does not continue and this Spider-Man was just a one-time thing and the next week we get some crazy drop or something not too hyped or something that's not too big in a sense, we shall see price over time actually going back down. I think a lot of holders are holding, but a lot of investors are selling. Smart money is selling and a lot of retail investors are typically holding. So that's why we need to see that they're just going to buy off the dip and it's going to continue like this until we see something that they do enjoy. All right. So like I was showing you the price, we could see it going up. I do need this zone broken retest of structure after the retest of structure jump to a 15 minute chart, jump to a smaller frame chart, look for a pin bar, look for a doji, look for a bullish engulfing candle, look for anything that you guys like to trade and then buy that market and then see these levels as take profit one, take profit two and take profit three, okay? Make sure you put stop loss, understand how to trade this position. But if this zone tonight does not hold after I release the video, then I am looking to sell and looking for 0 0.0020. Hope this helps and hope you guys understand why I get into trades like this. I try to show you every single day how to be a profitable trader. If you like this video, please do me a favor and like, share and subscribe because I'm going to come out with great content every single time so you guys understand and we can all share this information together. One last thing, I do wanna put the pivot points for you so you guys can see where the market sentiment is going. So when we have the pivot, we can see that the pivot is actually on the top. So we can see that the pivot's right here and the market range is on top and we are finding this beautiful resistance. Can we see the market actually gravitate towards P, the pivot point? Yes, we can. And if it does gravitate towards the pivot point and we see some support, then we could buy the market. But if the market does not break this top then we will see a retest of structure exactly at 0.0028 so we have s1 for take profit one we have s2 for take profit two and we have s3 for take profit three as i was showing you guys earlier take profit three lands exactly around 0.0020 so that is a good basis to understand where the reversal can happen do i think it could break the structure look if spider-man does not go the way it is and a lot of people are just finding more inconsistency on a komi or omi we will see the fall of this price. But if Spider-Man does good and a lot of people hold great value throughout this week saying, you know what, Spider-Man's here, the value shouldn't be this low. We can see the price bouncing off on this range. But once it does break this range and it retests the back end of that structure, I'm in. I'm in for a buy and we got take profit one, we got take profit two and take profit three for a beautiful profitable week. So hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. Other than that, take it easy and John out. Peace.